Hello! It is now almost, like it's two days away from the month of December at the time I'm filming this, and I am ready to unbox for you the December 2020 Tokyo Treat uh, Treat Box, which as you can see, the theme is Merry Snackmas! Uh, it's Christmas time, it's time for caring and compassion, it's time for snowflakes, and of course, it's time for Japanese snacks. So we're going to go ahead and crack into this box. I'll be sampling one or two of the snacks for you live, as well as just going over what sorts of things are included in this year, this month's premium subscription plan. Once again, I am utilizing the premium plan. If you take a look at our little cheat sheet for the snacks, you'll see that all of these blue items here come in the regular classic monthly program but the premium items are in yellow here. It usually includes a drink, a shareable size snack, which lately has been full size 12 count bags of Kit Kats and various other surprise items. So we're gonna get cracking right into the box. Mm, we have that classic orange look. As you can see, I still have some of November's box sitting back there because Halloween and November were a time for candy and treats and more that I could possibly eat in just one sitting. Um, we're going to start off with the first item on top. This kind of, just by looking at the picture, makes me think of wedding soup. It's definitely something that looks hearty and seasoned and warm. So looking at our, our treat list, this is called Scone Genevieve's Cheese. Cheese lovers are in a treat for a mellow and crunchy treat. Cheesy flavor with hints of basil, onion, and garlic. So it is sort of um, cheesy and soupy. And if you look at the picture, it looks like it's going to be a, a nice, crunchy, savory snack. So I'm looking forward to the warm flavors of all the seasoning to keep me cozy as the weather turns colder and colder. Um, next up, we have, I see the Umaibo. Oh, no. Unfortunately, this bag popped open in packaging. So I'm not sure if it's going to be able to be eaten. Um, it might be my fault because I've already opened this box and was kind of squishing stuff back in. So I may have popped it open. That could be on me. But uh, this is the Omaibo mascot. I'm not sure what he's supposed to be. It looks like Doraemon, the seal, but he has feet, not flippers. So it confuses me. Uh, but these are Omaibo rings sugar rusk flavor instead of the cheese flavor from previous boxes. And I was really looking forward to this item. This is the Pokemon Choco Corn that I had in the Halloween box. If you remember, when it came in the Halloween box, if you saw my unboxing video, it had Chandelure on the cover, and now we have a Christmas Charizard, which is so cute. I assume it's going to taste exactly the same as the other Choco Corn. It just has a new design on the bag, so I'm really looking forward to eating it. It kind of reminds me of a cereal, like a Cocoa Krispies or a Cocoa Puffs cereal, except um, it's little Pikachu-shaped heads, and it makes your fingers slightly sticky, but it's worth it. Okay, we've got, oh, this looks like a friendly little family of corn. You see Mr. Corn and his little niblet, niblet children. I'm assuming it's Mr. Corn because he's got a bow tie, you know. Um, this is Lucky Corn Salty Flavor. So this is a salty snack. It's corn. It looks like little corn puff kernels. And it's salty flavor. Salt and corn go really well together. So set that aside. Uh, next I see, oh. This is a, it looks like, okay, so if I look at the wrapper on the bottom, I see what looks like, uh, what's the word? Not bruschetta, yeah, bruschetta flavors. Like um, I see tomato and basil and like slices of mozzarella cheese. So that's what I'm thinking of. Let's see what it says. This is a premium Umaibo flavor. So same company that makes these snacks right here, except this is camembert cheese. Now, if you're a total nerd like me and you watch, um, Miraculous, the show about Miraculous Ladybug and the little sidekicks and Plog, the black cat sidekick, is obsessed with camembert cheese because it's stinky. That lets me know that this is probably going to have some strong scent to it. Some strong, and you know what? I'm just going to crack this one open for you. So, oh boy, camembert cheese. Whoa. Okay, so immediately I'm knocked back by the smell it's just very strong it's not bad it's not like a gym sock smell sometimes with brie or other cheeses that are stinky you get sort of that sweaty gym sock vibe this just tastes really like rich as if it's been baked into something we're going to take a bite here wow how to describe the flavor it's so good it's got the initial crunch of an umaibo which is just kind of like a cheese puff 
but it's almost like there's this extra thick layer of powdered cheese coating on it so instead of just the normal level of cheese it kind of explodes with flavor in your mouth on first bite and then fades out as the corn puff dissolves mm. i will definitely be finishing this right after the video this is a delicious snack thank you for sending me this chamomile flavored umaibo snack i'm gonna set it down in front of me so i can eat it right after and the next item i see is oh there's the umaibo mascot once again let me see if I can find him in my booklet. Aha! This is Umaibo Tonkatsu sauce flavor. I'm not sure what Tonkatsu sauce is. The packet just says it is a slightly spicy sauce. So I will have to see just how spicy that is. So far, the hottest item I've had in, in the three boxes that I've tried were a spicy flavor, sort of um, similar to Umaibo rings, and they really weren't that spicy. They had a bit of like a barbecue kick to them, but they had no heat. So I haven't had anything with a lot of heat. Uh, this is claiming to be slightly spicy, so I probably won't have that much either. What I was really looking forward to is that for Christmas time, this box actually has a lot of sweet treats inside because we get a lot of salty, savory snacks, but there aren't as many desserts. I don't know if Japan's just not as big on chocolatey items as America, because I know here we have a huge addiction to sugar. But I was looking forward to see what would come. And uh, one of the items that was previewed on the website was these choco um t-roll choco winter mochi i love mochi i've only really had the ice cream type of mochi where it's frozen but this is a like cocoa powder dusted mochi filled with liquidy chocolate gooey filling and i'm really looking forward to this one because i love chocolate i love sweets and i'm hoping that it will be really gooey in the center look at this picture we're actually going to open this one up and see how it compares to the picture on the package because I can't wait, and there's more than one in there, so I can save one for later. I don't think they'll go stale like some of the salty snacks once you open them. First, I'm going to take a whiff. Hmm, kind of makes me think of hot chocolate. Oh, they're pre-wrapped. That's so cute. Okay, this is even better. They definitely won't be going stale on me. They are individually foil-wrapped. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Can you see me, camera? There we go. They have almost like a little ghost character on them, but then on the back, he's dressed as a little snowman. And I think that is super cute. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. They're real small. They're about the size of like my, the tip of my thumb. There seem to be about seven of them in the package. We got cellophane, we've got foil, and we can see the little pinwheel shape on the top. I've smudged it with my fingers now. Let's take a bite. Very chewy. Mm. Okay. There's a very, very rich, like, like dark chocolate rich flavor with a little bit of bitter, which is good to balance it out in the center. The center is extremely chewy, so I'm assuming that's the mochi because it's like a dough. The outside is just like a regular milk chocolate. So I was not initially thinking it was going to be so chewy when I bit into it, but I was expecting like that marshmallow white goo that you see in this picture or in this little diagram. And as you look, see if you can see here, there's no white inside at all. There's a strip of like where the mochi filling is and that's kind of it, but it's delicious. It's very rich. I could probably only eat about one of those at a time with a big glass of ice water. So I'll be saving the rest of those excellent really good snack okay next item is part of the premium subscription it usually comes with a drink this time around it is pepsi caramel punch flavor it says it's a japan exclusive flavor of pepsi with a sweet caramel flavor and a pinch of salt just to balance it out i'm definitely going to be popping this in the refrigerator before i sample it I'm also worried that it's going to be like a billion calories because I've been drinking only diet soda, but I will, I will take the hit for this one because it's really fun to try new flavors of soda and see what the difference is. And this is an official Pepsi brand. Let's see here. Let's set it back here. Okay. Next we have a, oh, it says Merry Christmas on it in regular English. And then it's got some kanji on there too. Let's see. Ah, this is also a premium item. It's called Christmas Fugashi. 
Uh, it is a melt-in-your-mouth bar made from wheat with an airy texture and sweet brown sugar flavor. So we've got another sweet treat. So, so far, we have salty, sweet, salty, 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 sweet, sweet, sweet. I mean, there's a lot of balance in this box. Versus in November, I feel like most of the ingredients were savory. We have this strawberry cake roll, which kind of reminds me, again, it's sort of like a ho-ho uh, Swiss cake roll standard you would get here from like Little Debbie or other snack companies. Um, it looks like a vanilla cake roll with strawberry filling. Very straightforward. This was another premium item. This is called Meji. It's by Meji who makes like pandas and some of the other snacks that I enjoy that you can actually import in America pretty cheaply. Uh, this is called Melty Kiss. It looks like a cocoa powder crusted soft gummy of some kind. In the packet, it says that it's matcha flavored and they will like melt in your mouth. So I'm going to just kind of open the box and I can see that they're individually wrapped. There look to be about a dozen in here. Um, I'm not big on matcha, I'll be honest. I'm a terrible weeaboo because I don't like green tea matcha. It's a little bitter for me, but I'll give these a shot. I will probably be um, giving them to a friend who would appreciate them instead. All right, let's see. So most of the way through the box, we have, of course, our shareable item. It's another bag of Kit Kats this month in the premium collection. This time it is Kit Kat sparkling wine with strawberry flavor. Uh, the book description says that it is, um, well, it just says that. It says it's a sparkling wine flavor, which is a hint of strawberry. It looks like from the picture, the strawberry is in the little cream filling between the layers of wafer, and then the outside must be the wine-flavored chocolate. So um, we'll give that one a hit right now, too. I always like to try one of the Kit Kats right away. So, so far in October, we had flavor was that in October? Apple pie. Then I bought ocean salt ones at a local Asian market here in um, in Pittsburgh. Then w November's was cheesecake flavor a little, with a little bit of salt. And now I have champagne with strawberries. So here we go. Whoa. The wine flavor? takes a second and then it kind of punches you in the face it's like hey guys can't have a cocktail right now that's okay just dig into a Kit Kat like I feel like if I ate a bag of these I would feel boozy even though I don't think they're actually alcoholic because you couldn't sell them to children and they definitely have a strawberry tone wow I actually don't know if I like that Those might be my least favorite flavor so far. Like the wine almost has a nail polish remover taste. Mm -mm. Do not recommend. First item I've had out of any of these boxes that I probably would not recommend to people. But hey, maybe it's maybe it's more your bag. I don't know. Okay. We have just a few small things left. Here, this looks like a giant marshmallow. If it even tells me that it's big. This is mash row, soft and fluffy like Christmas snow. Aww. This Japanese marshmallow is the perfect bite-sized winter treat. The last marshmallow I had was the little marshmallow ghost in the Halloween box and it was delightful. So I'm looking forward to this one. Something about their marshmallows, they're just a little bit more meltier and less hard than American marshmallows. Okay, here we have some sour soda gum. This is very similar to the gum that came in the October box. It is one of these pieces of gum is sour, but which one it is is a mystery. So it's like a game you can play with your friends and see who gets the sour piece, I guess. We have some rolling candy soda flavor. It looks like little marbles. I'm going to assume this, it says it's a cider flavor. So like a sparkling cider soda. We'll have to see about that. I normally don't go for things that are Ramune flavored because they have that bubbliness, but they don't really have the, like an overall flavor to them. But if it's cider, I think I would be more tolerable. Oh, we have another marshmallow. This little one is not in the booklet, so it must just be a little extra bonus surprise, but it just looks like a little extra 
marshmallow and it's just got the cutest little Rudolph and Santa eating a marshmallow on the package. And then last but not least, we have another gummy. This one is a sparkling cider flavored gummy, very similar to the grape soda one we had in the Halloween box. Same company, I think. Um, it's gonna be very chewy if I remember, like not shoe leather, like not hurting my mouth, but it's definitely like a hefty gummy. So yeah, that is the December Tokyo Treat Box in a nutshell. I'm gonna take some time to go through and put all the labels on the bottom before posting this video so you can see if I'm mispronouncing things, you know what the name of them actually are. And I look forward to seeing you again. I'm gonna be skipping January just because things are a little tight. Um, so they actually have this really nice feature right now on their website where if you need to skip a month, because of COVID-19 kind of giving everybody some hard times, you can skip a month and not lose your reward streak. So how it works is every month when your box comes in, you get this code and then you type in this the secret word and it gives you a streak. And as you get to certain points in your streak of boxes in a row, you get rewards. Once you get to, I think it's six months, six boxes in a row, you get a permanent 10% discount on all of your subscription in the future. So after three boxes, I'm already halfway there but I need to drop the subscription for a month because of money. So it's really nice that with uh, the way the world is right now on their mind, they were kind enough to say, hey, like you guys can skip a month, keep your streak, come back, we'd love to see you again. So I'm looking forward to continuing business with this company once things straighten out after Christmas. Um, if I don't see you again before the holidays, I wish you Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Aid, whatever you celebrate this time of year. I hope you get to spend it, even if it's digitally, with friends and family, be safe, first of all, because that's the most important, and um, spread the love, spread the joy, keep hope. Thanks.